Whoa! Oh, oh yeah, you're vegan. I'm gonna bite your. Food. Seriously, don't. That's meat, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna puke. Ow! Ow! Um. All right. Well, welcome back, folks. We are back with another episode of your favorite couple. Not on a couch this week. We are in the car. So, couple <laughs> in a car. So yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, um, welcome. You're in for a ride. Wait, look, we even have cup holders. Wow. I was gonna say, I wish I had something to lean on. Something to lean on. But yeah, we are in a car today because we wanted to go to Starbucks. And it's kind of funny. It's like, uh, what's that one where it's like the guy does his podcast in his car? I can't think of what his name is. The Seinfeld, guy that makes Seinfeld the, maybe? The comedians in a car? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, except we're not comedians. Com We're not comedians. We're relatable, okay? You guys can't relate to Jerry Seinfeld, probably because he's older than you, and he's more rich than you, more successful, more famous. Evan! But you know who you guys can relate to? Me and Claire Bear. We're, I mean, let's be honest, we're, we're pretty great. But uh, yeah, this is just another episode of our podcast thing, weekly it's update. It's like not really a podcast, like what is it? It's a, kind of like a podcast because we kind of say what we did in our week, which no one really cares about, but they care about the juicy stuff, which this week I'm gonna dig in deep and tell you why Claire, right here, my girlfriend of almost five years, is ruining my life. And I'm not kidding, but we'll get to that later. But babe, how was your week? What all did you do? Everything, what name, everything you did this week. Well, first, start. Starbucks, I gotta give you credit. I know I bash you a lot, like a lot, more than most people, but this drink right here, you guys nail it every time. I haven't sipped this one like, yet. It looks like a beautiful, like, Neapolitan. Yeah, it's three layer. It's like a dessert. It's like you got the chocolate pudding, the caramel spread, and then the vanilla, vanilla cream latte spice. How do I get it down there? Drink it? No, you're just drinking the cream now. I might need your straw for a minute. Oh my God, I got cream all over my mouth, mustache. Relatable, am I right? <laughs> That's not good enough. Then you stir my drink. Don't pop that lid off, girl, I'll spank you. <laughs> Ew, I don't even want this straw. Oh my God, honestly, I'm just gonna drink my drink without a straw. It's Babe, disgusting. Take it. No, it's disgusting. What? Problem solved. I don't want that. But yeah, these pumpkin cream cold brews are so good. They're good every time. I don't know how they can make this fancy little thing perfect every time, but mess up a nice coffee. Okay, before. you asked me what I was doing this week, what I did. And I actually had an eventful week. What'd you do? On Wednesday, we went and got dinner with my aunt. Facts. On Friday, I went and got dinner with my aunt. Facts. Same aunt. Facts. The juiciest news of them all is yesterday I cried. Facts. I got too much ice. <laughs> I'm not my glasses off here. I got, I had like three beers last night. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Wow. Savage. Sue me. Um, I had three beers last night. You have something in your hair. It's probably bed lint. And it was my mom's birthday yet. Well, I guess it's my mom's birthday today, but when you guys are gonna see this, it was my mom's birthday yesterday. And my whole family FaceTimed me and they were all celebrating my mom's birthday. And so I got really sad and then I cried. And then Andrew took me to Fuzzy's and then I had another beer. This is a horrible story. Yeah. But in other news, I also had a pretty eventful week. If you guys game, you guys know what I'm talking about. Call of Duty beta came out, mixed opinions. I'll keep them brief. Stop camping, okay? If you suck at Call of Duty, go play Fortnite, all right? I don't need you guys coming in, ruining the game for everyone else, okay? You and your stupid little hiding spots, laying in the corner, all scared to come fight daddy and the boys, okay? Just go play Fortnite, all right? But also, on a brighter note, Borderlands uh, came out. I've never really played this game, but it is honestly quite enjoyable. I've put in multiple hours on that game. If I would have put those hours towards a PhD, I'd probably be a brain surgeon right mm. now. So, yeah, kind of a waste of time, but is it a waste of time if you're having fun doing it? No, it is not. So that's pretty much what I've done all week. But do we get to the juicy stuff yet about how you're ruining my life? But yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. Why is Claire ruining there's a cop, hopefully it doesn't pull us over. 
But yeah, you guys, like, I mean, it might seem like me and Claire are just thriving as a couple. In our videos, we never disagree with each other. All we do is hug. We never what? Disagree. All we do is. I don't is, think you said disagree. It sounded like disagree. We never disagree. We all, we all we do is hug, smile at each other, and compliment each other. That's pretty much all we do. Seriously, get off me. You smell like sweat. Babe, seriously, you're ruining the shot. Like, I'm getting deep into this stuff. That is the nat. <laughs> That might be the nastiest feeling I've ever had. That was for my straw. I kind of liked it though. But yeah, well you see we're just perfect, okay? No arguments, nothing. We're just literally flawless. But this week, it's been bad, and let me tell you why. Claire made me eat vegetables for every meal. Every meal. Day one, we had butternut squash. Day two, we had Brussels sprouts. Day three, we had like a bunch of stuff. It's pretty much all veggies. I haven't had steak in like a month and this is effed up. Yeah, that's about it. It might seem a little, now that I think about it, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's obviously not that bad. But she's driving me crazy. It's, I make a, I make a protein shake. She goes, you want some spinach in it? This vegan right here, all she does is talk about veggies. You never that eat vegetables, I, literally. If I wasn't making, first of all, why are you complaining about me making you dinner every night? That is so weird. I'm not complaining like, about that. I make you dinner no, no, every no. night. No, I did not say. I did not say. Claire's made me dinner every night. Well, I guess hate her. What? No, no, no. When I make the dinner, I choose what you eat. And I'm still nice to you and I still cook him meat. Can I, I finish? No. It's no, my turn. No, one time. No, it's my she turn. She made me that beyond beef. It's the my turn. The F is turn. that. Put real beef in that, baby. Real cow. I even cook two separate pans so Andrew can have his precious meat that he needs so bad to build his muscles. I make him dinner every night, literally every night. He Ask, ask Andrew when the last time he made me dinner was. Mm, that would be uh, never, literally, no. no, I told you not to interrupt you just me. just asked me. Probably the last time Andrew made me a dinner was in college. So I make him dinner every night and guess what that means? I decide what we eat and everything we eat is good. I don't just grill up vegetables and serve them whole. I make it really good, I put good seasoning on it. Yesterday I made us fried rice, okay? And yes, it was a very, very healthy version of fried rice where there wasn't really, I I mean, there wasn't rice in it at all. It was just cauliflower rice, broccoli rice, and then a bunch of vegetables. But it was still good, and I still made a separate pan so you could have eggs in yours. Okay. Talk about sacrifice. The thing is, okay, I did not once say I was unappreciative of you making me meals. I never said that. I actually enjoyed the meals. And if you didn't really interrupt me, I was gonna say, but honestly, all the meals she's made were pretty good, except that one, that like uh, dish, that one thing. I wasn't really a big fan of it. Not that Claire made it bad, I just didn't like that style of food. She killed it. She even made turnip fries. I don't even know what a turnip is. No, not a uh, turnip, bro, yeah, what? No, not that, like a literal turnip. I don't know what a turnip is, but she made turnip fries and they were actually quite delicious. Thank you. But yeah, all of her meals are freaking good. Butternut squash, never had it, delicious. Brussels sprouts, I thought I hated them until she made them delicious so i'm not complaining honestly i just uh you just said i was ruining your our relationship i said as i was saying it it didn't quite offend me as i thought it did i think you should but make, no. wait no no i think you should make me dinner tonight the thing is okay i don't make clear meals Sure, but you know what I do in replace of that? I take you to restaurants. We go to Chipotle, I buy it. We go to Torchies, I buy it. We go to the most expensive restaurant in Denver, Colorado. I get Wagyu beef. She gets like four oysters. Those four oysters were like 70 bucks. I pay for it and she's harassing me. When was the last time you took me to a restaurant? Never! <laughs> I literally just paid for the Starbucks. Oh, I'm sorry. Who paid? Let's fast forward or flashback to the last time when you go, money. What? Yeah, the last video when you posted and you go, I need your money. Chicken Can I have your money, please? Oh. That is a common sentence as Claire uses. I need your money. She goes, I'm gonna go, uh, oh, also. Uh, no, I don't need your no, money. No, 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 no. I do buy you some nice dinners. I know, but maybe sometimes I would want you to make me something, and maybe in return, you would want me to buy you something. You say all the time, I like making you meals. I do! So why would I be the person to say, no, I don't want you to make me another meal? Because every once in a while, I don't want to make dinner. 
the dough and we can go get Chipotle. No, I want a home cooked meal. I want a home cooked meal that I don't have to home cook. Fine, I'll make you one. There's the next video. I made Claire dinner. Guess that's, what? Guess what's for dinner? That's extremely intriguing. I'm gonna title. cook a steak and Claire's gonna get steamed veggies. Boom. Done. Next. Yeah. I feel like these videos always just turn into you guys listening to Andrew and I argue. It's like our therapy, obviously. So, yeah. you know, we appreciate you and uh, not charging us $25 an hour for therapy. Which we should, honestly. Like, what are you saying? We should charge them? No. Oh. They don't charge us. Because, you know, like, if we went to a therapist, they would charge us. But if you think about it, this is giving them insight on how they should talk through their problems with their other one. Or their, what is it? Their significant other. Whether it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you're having, like, bad communication with your puppy. Like, you're like, hey, sit. And he goes, no. This might help you. But if that has actually happened, you might need to go see. I about said dog the bounty hunter, but that's not him. Freaking Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer. Like, you guys gotta let us know. Do you guys want these to be strictly about us? Or do you, like, want us to talk about something, like, trending in the news? But I don't know if you guys know this, but Andrew's birthday is on the 29th. So send me stuff. What do you want for your birthday? Also, no, actually, I know what you want. What do I want? You want an elk steak. Like, where yes. am I gonna find that? I don't know. What do you wanna do for your birthday? I wanna eat that elk steak. What was your most epic birthday you've ever had? Probably the one you friend zoned me. That was also my 21st, which someone says is their iconic birthday. Now that's the tea, people. All I want for my birthday this year is a 16 ounce elk steak. I don't care, I'll pay for it. I don't want you to pay for it. I just don't know where the heck to find an elk steak. I don't know. We call up Joe Rogan. He's probably got some elk meat in the fridge. Maybe freezer. I think you're gonna have to buy it frozen. I would hope that I have to buy it frozen. I'd rather it be fresh, like maybe drive around and go find a butcher that has elk. Are if there even me. elk in Texas? Oh my God. Do you think there's cows in Texas? No. The only thing in Texas are them large mouth bass. I want to know, I want you guys to comment below if you guys want to see, if we, if you want us to do like a birthday vlog. So like for my birthday, I really wanted to vlog it, but we didn't. Surprise, surprise. Which is probably good because it would have been a messy vlog. Claire got slammered. No, I did not. I know, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it would be really fun to vlog Andrew's birthday. I don't know what we're doing on Andrew's birthday because he won't tell me. I don't like doing anything. I just want steak. I just want an elk steak. There's your video. And I think I'm about to ask my dad to cook it because no offense. I don't want to cook elk. He cooks a mean steak and I'm afraid you would butcher this. You'd be like, oh, you wanted it super well done, right? I'd be like, no, I don't know if there's even elk like in season because like you know it's seasonal hunting. Like I don't even know how hunting works, but you're not allowed to just Oh, like hunt you every know year. what hunting is. The thing is, like, yeah, I don't hunt, but guess what? I know what hunting is, okay? So like if you don't know, you can't just shoot elk anytime you want, okay? I know. So I don't know if it's elk season, I don't know if it's deer season, I don't know if it's freaking turkey season, okay? I'm assuming it's turkey season because, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up and we eat turkey for Thanksgiving. You don't, you eat broccoli, people. You, you're a vegan. I'm gonna bite your face. Seriously, don't. That's me and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna puke. Ow, 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 ow. But yeah, all I want for my birthday is elk steak. If you guys all have I any want tips. For my birthday is a elk steak. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what Claire can do to not ruin my birthday party, please let her know because if I don't get an elk steak, <clears throat> in front of me with a side of asparagus. I will break up with her. Just act normal, this guy is driving by. This guy walks by as we are sitting here with a camera pointing at us with what looks to be a duck on top and we have two grown adults sitting in the back drinking coffee, talking about elk steak. I don't know if it could get much weirder than that, but we will find out soon. All right, you guys, well that is gonna be it for today's video. Not a video counseling session. Yes. Uh, we hope Record you and document it for you on YouTube. But we hope that you guys enjoy these videos. We enjoy these videos. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to sit down and chat and obviously work through some of our issues. Yeah. But make sure to leave a comment if you guys enjoy these videos. And no. Make sure you leave a comment if you know where we can get elk steak. Andrew, I'm so over Were you today. not paying attention? I spill out the deepest rooted problem in me right now and you just ignore it? I think she's breaking up with me. <laughs> the car went out. <laughs> okay, bye people. Thanks for watching. Please let us know where I can get some elk steak. Find an elk steak and send it to me. Goodbye. You're good.
Look how much dark, why is it so dark? It'll brighten up, just like your mood. Uh, boom, just like that.